Hi guys, it's the 14th Prime here, back with another video review. And today we'll be looking at the Transformers Wobots in Disguise 2015 Warrior Class Bumblebee. Which is the new deluxe class name, but anyway. Here he is in his vehicle mode, but as usual, packaging first. The Bumblebee in vehicle mode, ages 6 plus Transformers. You get a nice picture of Bumblebee up there with the sword, like I'm gonna stab you. Then you get the code, and you can actually, with these, you can even scan the little box code to unlock stuff, which I think that's cool. The box one. What if you can scan like all these, like scan that one, and then just like scan, just like scan them all on a side. You get a nice picture of Bumblebee. The side you get nothing. And on the back, you know, download the game, scan on bot, and go bang. I'm gonna kick you, Steel Jaw. Some product shots, it's like seven steps. Which I really, really hate this because on the Legend class figures, you actually get full out instructions, but on the Warrior classes, you have you the instructions are on the back of the box. I really hate that. But anyway, good about that. Speaking of the Legend class, here he is next to him. The Legend class will be. They both look so bright with the coloring, but they're actually a bit more of a darker yellow. Jeez, it's actually it's a little bit too bright there. And also, just because she's here, her strong arm. Dumb. Oh, the the sword did <laughs> out. We don't want to get to you yet, but he does have a very nice vehicle mode. This is pretty dang cool. Back, of course, no paint whatsoever. It does roll very nicely. And it has the sword under it, like was demonstrated a minute ago. The sword has some nice molding. Looks like the Star Saber. Is the moment we the Star Saber? It looks like a mix between the IDW Star Saber and the Prime Star Saber. Because, I mean, I, never ha I actually have the die-cast one. There's, like, this little hill pieces right there. It, it just looks similar. I'm just going to place that over there. On the back. It's really actually nice how they did how they did this one. You can't really tell anything a robot, except, you know, the bottoms of the feet right there and the leg. Caps right there. With the kneecaps on uh I mean you really can't tell this is a robot. Which I really think is cool. And does roll still fairly nice. But anyway, let's use those seven seven steps to turn transform him into robot mode. So first what you wanna do is you wanna take this, pull it back. Um you wanna take these I know, let's raise that. You wanna take these door pieces, you wanna push them down. On both sides, if possible. Come on. And then you want to flip those up, get them out of the way. Then I think, yeah, there we go. Pull those down. I want to pull these out and kind of maneuver them to however you please. Rotate there. Just put the legs. Tire will pop off. <laughs> flip down the feet. And they say there's most of it done. I'll take this, flip it all the way back, then you want to flip it down like that. I don't want to do that yet, let me phrase that. You want to take these two, plug them in there. Then you want to do all of that. And then here is where your class will be not standing. He doesn't want to stand. He's so warrior-like. Come on! There he is. There's, there is Warrior Class Bumblebee in his robot mode. Now there is issues with the robot mode for most for most people. I don't really have the issues too terribly much. But as you can see a second ago, he's tricky to stand. The reasoning for that is because he has no heal spurs, which kind of really sucks. Well, no heal at all. I don't know what they're called in the Transformers Mythos. Like heal thrusters and... All that stuff. Thank God. I'm trying to transform the Legend Glass Bumblebee, and it's just like not even wanting to work for me. Work, Bumblebee. It's wasting review time. I'm gonna give up in like a few seconds. <laughs> I need the box. Box, come to me. Help me in this dire time of need. Box. I don't know what I'm doing. 
get one. Yes, okay. I think that's it. There we go. It's like the hardest legend class figure ever. Yeah. No one cares about him. Won't be has to look pretty cool. He has a nice smirk on his face. He has car bits on his legs, and I do like the door wings on them. Not bad. Articulation: the head does look up and down. It rotates side to side. It can't do full 360, but this kind of gets in the way of that. Arms can move like that. They can move like that. Do the transformation. Elbow bend. Rotation there. Nothing up. Nothing at the wrist. Waist swivel. Do transformation, legs go forward, back, bend at the knee, but only that much because of this. Sorry, a swivel air, and then I guess you can count that as foot pivoting. I don't know. I don't know if you want to count that or not. And things falling over. You can take this sword, plug it in, and we'll be standing there with the sword. <laughs> Overall, I think he's a ver I think he's a good figure. I mean. He does have the issue with no heels, which if these actually came down a little bit more, those could be pretty good heels. Him, like him, and Steel Jaw both have that issue, which I'll get the Steel Jaws later on in his review. But anyway, I think that's what all I have to say. So be sure to check out my channel for more video reviews, and please only subscribe. Also check out Megatronus One Eighty Six link in the description below. And this is the Fourteenth Prime signing out.